talk to you about centipedes in soil. And we all know the centipedes, they look creepy, they're very crawly, they're unsightly, um, and they tend to be attracted to our house plants, especially our soil. Centipedes love the organic matter that's made up in soils. So if you find that you do have centipedes in your house plants, Fear not, they don't like to harm houseplants. They actually like to eat predatory insects. So they can be beneficial to your garden and to your houseplants, but they are very unsightly and can be a nuisance, especially within our household. So with centipedes, they are very attracted to our houseplants because of all the organic matter that is in our houseplant soil. Um, even if you have houseplants where the leaves are dropping, that'll create organic matter in your soil, attracting the centipedes. Or if you had your plants outside in the summertime, centipedes like to eat predatory bugs as well. So aphids, spider mites, if you have those in your plant in the summertime, they're going to be attracted to that plant. Um, Generally how centipedes get into your house plants is through the bottom. They like cool, moist soil as well. So again, if we have a really hot, dry summer and you've got plants outside, the centipedes are gonna try to find their way to hide at the base of your soil or the base of your pot. And then they essentially use your plant as a host to live and to hide <laughs> and to feed on that organic matter in your soil. So generally with your centipedes in your soil, they don't want to harm your plants. They want to feed at what's in your soil and on your plant. They really don't want to harm your plant. Although if you do find you have a very huge centipede problem in your soil because they hide at the bottom, it is easy to let them go unnoticed for a while. Um, sometimes they can cause damage, but it's very rare. Um, so to get rid of those guys, you want to use something like a diatomaceous earth. I really like to use this product um, against centipedes because of the type of exoskeleton they have. The diatomaceous earth is made of silicas, which are found in rock, sand, and clay. And what they do as those centipedes are crawling through your soil, you want to sprinkle the diatomaceous earth on top. You can even slightly mix it into your soil. And as those centipedes go to crawl through that diatomaceous earth, it gets into their crevices, it takes away the beneficial oils that are on those centipedes and essentially dehydrates them. This is very effective because the diatomaceous earth sits in the soil bed and that's where you're gonna find all of those centipedes. And another option you have to get rid of those centipedes in your soil is just simply repotting. So if you have a lot of centipedes in your soil, you wanna take out your plant, you wanna scrape off as much of that soil as you can on the roots, be gentle with it, repot it in some new fresh soil, and then your plant will be happy and healthy and you won't have any more creepy crawlies at the bottom of your pot. There you have it. So if you do have centipedes in your soil, Fear not, I know they're creepy, they're kind of gross looking, but we do have products to help get rid of them. Uh, the diatomaceous earth is a really good one. If you do have any more questions or concerns about centipedes in your house plants or outside in your garden, come down to Dutch Growers and we'll help you out or visit us at dutchgrowers.com.